Hello everybody, this is Zaxter99. Hope everybody's having a good day today. Well, if you're a Dallas Cowboys fan like myself, you may not be having such a great day knowing that, well, the inevitable did happen. DeMarco Murray signed with another NFL team today. He's not going to be a Dallas Cowboy. Now that kind of hurts because Dallas had a certain chemistry, especially with that offense last year. Uh, the offensive line, Des Bryant, the receivers, Tony Romo, uh, they had a good chemistry together, and they were able to make it into the playoffs. I would have liked to have seen Dallas be able to keep that same chemistry this next year and make another run for the Super Bowl. Now, losing DeMarco Murray hurts, but Dallas still has its full offensive line intact this year. DeMarco Murray is going to be hard to replace. Uh, it's going to be hard to replace somebody that can carry the ball uh, and be as durable as he was last year. Now, he does have a history of having some pretty bad injuries, but last year he was a workhorse stud, and uh, he you know, he got eight, over 1,800 yards. He wasn't that far away from breaking Eric Dickerson's record, all-time rushing record. That's how good DeMarco Murray is, and he's going to be hard to replace. Now, one of the things that bothers me so much about losing DeMarco Murray to the Philadelphia Eagles is not that the Dallas Cowboys are going to have to play the Philadelphia Eagles twice a year uh, just in the regular season, not to mention if the Eagles make the playoffs and Dallas makes the playoffs, they could play him again. Uh, it's not the fact that he's now a Philadelphia Eagle. Uh, you know, and, and I really don't have anything against Chip Kelly or the Eagles football team now. What bothers me about losing a class act like DeMarco Murray going to the Philadelphia Eagles is that now we have some of my most hated football team's fans. And the fans in Philadelphia are the biggest reason why I have such a hatred for the Philadelphia Eagles. The fans up in Philadelphia are some of the most classless, biggest losers in all sports. And they don't do it, just do it with football. They do it with other sports as well. I don't know what it is up in the city of Philadelphia that turns normal people into some of the biggest losers in society. Some of the cl most classless, most arrogant, most senseless and heartless pieces of crap to walk on two legs. But it didn't take very long. I think it took me about 13 seconds looking on YouTube when I found a perfect example of one of these biggest pieces of crap in Philadelphia that's a Philadelphia Eagles fan and this this people is why DeMarco Murray being such a class act that he is pisses me off because now we got fans like this guy screaming and ranting about it I want you guys to go ahead and take a look at this video that was just put up on YouTube for all of you hating on my Philadelphia Eagle player DeMarco Murray, I say to you, he will not go out in the blaze of glory. He will not break anything. He will not break his knee. He will not break his leg. And he certainly won't break his neck like we broke Michael Irvin's neck at the vet a little while back. How about that, baby? When Michael Irvin's neck was cracked in two. And we were all like, nah, 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 88. Goodbye. So there you go. John Ammo is his name. Doesn't matter what the hell his name is. This is the same reason I've hated the Philadelphia Eagles fans since forever. Since that day when Michael Irvin was on the Cowboys, a class act, a pro star in the NFL. One of the best receivers in the NFL, along with Jerry Rice and others back in in the early 90s. Back in 99 when Michael Irvin laid on the Philadelphia Eagle fans stadium with a broken neck. This is a time when Cowboys fans and NFL fans around the country, even in their living room, sat motionless hoping that this human being in Michael Irvin laying in excruciating pain on that field, was hoping 
that the guy was all right. Any human watching that was hoping that Michael Irvin was okay. Nobody can watch somebody get their neck broke and cheer and holler. That is, unless you're a schmuck like this John Ammo guy. Or that is, unless you're a Philadelphia Eagle fan. Who the hell can cheer and scream and holler and hooray when a human being sees his NFL career end with a broken neck, with an injury of that magnitude? Philadelphia Eagle fans do. And not only that, this schmuck that I just showed was still cheering about it 16 years after it happened. This is a perfect example I gave you another example back in December of why I hate Philadelphia Eagle fans. This guy's even more of a Philadelphia Eagle, dumbass, loser, waste of skin, punk ass bitch. This is why I hate a class act like DeMarco Murray and going and supporting all these freaking rejects of life up in Philadelphia. All these rejects of life that are Philadelphia Eagle fans like this guy. I hate to see a class act like DeMarco Murray go and have these guys ranting and screaming. Now, he's talking about how Cowboys fans, some, some Cowboys fans, I guess on forum posts or whatever, are hoping that DeMarco Murray, because he went to Philadelphia, breaks something or gets injured. If you're a Cowboys fan and you're sitting there posting or hoping or wishing that because DeMarco Murray went to the Eagles that he gets hurt next year or breaks something, why don't you move the hell out of Dallas? Why don't you change football teams and go over there and support the Philadelphia Eagles because you're a fan just like them? Why would you hope that a class act like DeMarco Murray gets hurt? Don't be a loser. If you're a Cowboys fan. If you're a real Cowboys fan, it means you have class. It means you're not a classless idiot like this guy. I hope DeMarco Murray does well. I'm proud for him. I'm happy that he's getting his money. But it makes me sick that these kind of fans are getting a guy like DeMarco Murray to cheer for. Complete opposites of the spectrum. DeMarco Murray is a class act. Most Philadelphia Eagle fans are the biggest losers of life. They have no class whatsoever, and I've proved it a couple of times. It's exactly why I've always hated the, the Philadelphia Eagles. Anyway, let me know down in the comments below, people, if you agree with me. Or maybe you're a Philadelphia Eagle classless piece of crap and you want to defend yourself. I'm not saying all Philadelphia Eagles fans are like this. So if so, if you're a Philadelphia Eagles fan and you're not classless like this, post it down in the comments below. I'd love to read your comment. If you agree with me, though, if maybe you're a fan of another football team and you understand what I'm talking about with Philadelphia Eagles fans, also post it in the comment below. I'd like to read it. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. This is Zaxter99. The Cowboys are going to be fine. The Cowboys, uh, they're still a better team than the Philadelphia Eagles fans. Philadelphia Eagles, bring it. The Cowboys are going to take you out again next year, just like we did last year. Have a good day, everybody. This has been Zaxter99. We'll see you in the next one.